Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here in the Starman studio. You know, I do so much editing that I need two computers to do it on. But actually, I use one computer for photographs, this one, and I tend to use this one for editing movies. So they do two different things. One of them's a bit older than the other anyway. But these pictures I've got on the screens here are of not to lucent clouds. I'll put them on the screen now so you can have a look. We're now into not to loosen cloud season. Now, just look at these pictures here. I took these anytime between May and July. What not to loosen clouds are, are amazing formations of ice that you get in the upper atmosphere and you get them towards the north. You get them in the twilight at this time of year. Now, where I am, I live at around about 53 to 54 degrees north of the equator. Now. You only seem to get not to loosen clouds between sort of 50 and 70 degrees of latitude. And like I say, it's normally between May and July. So May to July, around about three months. And that's where we get like a constant twilight in the northern sky because the sun does not go down far enough. So when we look towards the north at this time of year, we can still see quite a lot of twilight in the sky. And that means that sometimes, not every night, you can never really predict these things, but sometimes, see the picture there, a black gold tower, I probably took that around about, well, just after midnight or something like that. I actually took that one last year. And they're a little bit unexplained. They don't really know how they work, but what they reckon they are, are like formations of ice up in the, high up in the atmosphere. They're actually in the mesosphere, I believe. Almost not quite on the edge of space, but up there. And when the sun gets to a certain level below, certain depth below the horizon, they can actually light them up from behind. So we actually get to see these amazing ice formations. There's another one there I took from looking over the pleasure beats there, that one there. And like I said, you just never know when you're going to see them. So the only thing I can say is to keep looking out if you get a nice clear night. And we've had quite a lot of them lately. Look towards the north around about an hour and a half or so after sunset. We're probably looking at um, the sunset now. It's around about, uh, it's getting on for quarter past nine at the moment. So I would say from 11 o'clock in May, where I am anyway, it might be different where you are. If you're in Scotland, then you're probably looking a bit later on. You probably have even more brightness than, than what I do down here. But just look towards the north into the twilight and see if you can see some some of these shapes appear that, that you can't really mistake them because I'll just show you a picture on the screen now. You can see the, the glowing clouds, but you can also see like normal clouds, you know, like clouds that are just passing through that are at more, more lower, much more, more regular clouds uh, that you would get. And they look dark because they're not lit up by the sun. But the glowing clouds, the ice particles, the not to loosen clouds, not to loosen means not as in night, and lucent is shining. And I think it's a Latin name or something like that. But that's what not to loosen means. And uh, I have done a few videos on them in the past. In fact, I'll put a link to a video that I did going back a couple of years. I'll look a bit of a whippersnapper on it. And I was filming him. I did a video then. And I'll try and do another video for it. I'll try and film. I'll go out and see if I can catch them again. Because it's the right time now to be looking for them. I would probably say as we get into, um, into June probably even more likely into just a little bit earlier yet. But like I said, this video is just to remind you that we do, we are in not to loosen cloud season now. And remember, if you're watching this from a latitude that's less than 50 degrees, it's probably less likely that you would see them. I think that the more likely to be seen between the latitudes of 50 and around about 70 degrees. And it's just that angle of the sun, the sun going below the horizon and lighting up these ice formations up in the higher atmosphere, they're so high up that we can see, we can see the glow of the sun coming off them back down to us. And they make these absolutely amazing patterns. And like I say as well, you just never know. Like, you know the Aurora Borealis, you can sort of predict it to some accuracy. These are nothing to do with the Aurora and you cannot predict them. I'm telling you, you cannot predict not to loosen clouds. They're totally unpredictable. You can go out one night and you can have a display just like this one we've got here over the plate. Absolutely amazing display there. 
unmistakable, not to, you can even see the stars through it. You can sometimes even see the aurora as well at the same time as the clouds are appearing. But they are totally, totally unpredictable. Because like I say, I remember once I said to a friend, I said, you really want to see these magic clouds. He called them unicorn clouds because he'd never seen them before. And he thought that, oh, I don't know about these things. You know, I, I, I think you're having me on about these things. But I said, you know what? Come out. We'll go to this location. You know what we did? I took that picture there, say, on one night. We went out the next night. There was nothing. Perfectly clear sky. Perfectly clear. But the clouds did not show up on the night that I took my friends. So there you go. Not to loosen clouds. We're now in the season. So like I said, if you're between the latitude of 50, if you're in the, anywhere in the UK or anywhere in Northern Europe, you've got a great chance. If you're in North America, then I'm not too sure. I think you'd probably have to be, I don't know. I might be wrong. If anybody has seen not to loosen clouds in North America, let me know but i think it's probably more likely that they would be seen up in canada uh, because most of most of north if we're talking about the usa and um, the, the latitude of the u.s unless you're in alaska i mean alaska you know alaska is quite far north isn't it so possibly alaska could be a, a good place to spot them they, they don't even like i said they don't even know a whole lot about not to lose and cloud they're a little bit mysterious how do they form well one one reason is obviously up there in the higher atmosphere it's pretty cold up there so the, there is water up there and it freezes and like i say it's when the sun goes down below the horizon but doesn't go down that far that it can light up it can light up these amazing formations of ice from the back so we're getting to see like a sort of um a back low you know so the sun if we look towards the north and we see that twilight sky and then you see the glow those clouds are being lit up by the sun from behind and they look like an electric blue color they're absolutely amazing i've been watching them since around about so i first learned about them around about 2012 if i can find it i'll show the very first picture that i took of them way way back i think this was 2013 and it was quite a faint display. And I'll tell you something else as well. They're not difficult to see, even if you're in the middle of town, because I've took a lot of these pictures in the middle of Blackpool. And it's not like trying to photograph the Milky Way or to photograph the Aurora. Not to loosen clouds are easy to see, no matter where they are. And if you want to get a good picture of them, it's good to try and pick, um, you know, a landmark or a church or something like that and just silhouette it against the sky. It'll look absolutely amazing. I'm going to see if I can do a video where I go out and hunt for these not to loosen clouds because I've been all over the place. I've, I've photographed them all over the place. But that's what I'll do. Look out for that video. But just for now, this is just a reminder to let you know that we are in not to loosen cloud season now. Get yourself out there an hour and a half after sunset, whatever night it is between now and sort of the middle of July, chance to see these amazing ice formations in the sky all different patterns you never know what you're going to get and you don't even know if you're going to get them or not so there you go i will hopefully do a video on them i'll get myself out there and see if i can see them myself and take some photographs they're pretty easy to photograph as well you can get a picture with your phone no problem at all so there you go that's it for this video i hope you spot some not to loosen clouds look out for a video if i manage to get one done and don't forget to keep looking up